for web design, app development, SEO optimization, and IT support, visit harveymorton-itsupport.com. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and welcome to my new PC build series. I've got a whole host of components here that are going into the build, so let's take a closer look. So I'd like to start by thanking you for joining me to watch this PC build series and also to let you know that if you're watching this on a laptop or a desktop computer, as the various component videos are uploaded to YouTube, you will actually see annotations around these product boxes. If you want to click on them, it will take you to more details about the individual component. If you're watching on a mobile device or indeed you just want to watch the whole playlist, the whole build series, then there is a link to the playlist for this particular PC build in the video description. So let's start up the top here with these two case fans. These are Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120s, 2000 RPM red LED fans. And these were very kindly supplied to me by Novatech, so please do check them out. And next up, we have got this. This is the keyboard I'm gonna be using for the build. This is a Tesoro Lobera Supreme. It's a full color illuminated mechanical gaming keyboard. Next up, we've got the case front and center here. This again was supplied to us by Novatech. This is the Novatech Eclipse. It's a high performance mid tower case, very keenly priced. I'm really excited to actually have this as part of the build. So please do check out the individual video for this. It's well worth watching. Now let's take a look at this left hand side here. The first component is this from MSI. This is their Radeon R9 290X gaming series graphics card, a really high power graphics card. Now this particular build is coming in sort of a, a mid to upper range in the price point. I'm just amazed that we managed to get this into this particular build. And then bottom left hand corner here, we have got a Mad Cat's Rat Tournament Edition mouse, 8200 DPI, adjustable lift off height, uh, just such a great mouse and in red and black. Love the colouring on this. Again, please do check out the individual videos for all of these components. Now to keep the CPU cool inside this build, we're using this. This is the Noctua NHU12S. This is a 120 millimeter U-type tower cooler for the CPU. A great cooling system is going into this particular build. Next up, we've got some memory from Kingston. This is their HyperX Beast memory modules, a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM going into this particular build. And then by way of storage, we have got some awesome storage here. This is the Transcend SSD 370. 512 gigabyte solid state drive. Now the processor that's going into this system is the Intel Core i7 4790K. Very, very easy to overclock this. And this is obviously a socket 1150 build, so LGA 1150. And then we've got some additional storage just over here. So in addition to the Transcend solid state drive that's gonna be used for storing all of the applications and of course the operating system, I'm gonna put some extra storage in here and I've got both a Samsung 840 series and an 830 series solid state drive. And these are gonna be used just for extra data. Maybe a little bit of video editing as well when I come to benchmark the system. And then over in the far corner here, on the right hand side, we have got the motherboard. This is the main component of the system for want of a better description. This is again from MSI. This is their Z97 Gaming 7 motherboard. Again, please do check out the individual video for all of these components. This motherboard looks absolutely fantastic. Again, in the red and black color in which matches the rest of the system. And then last but not least, down in this bottom right hand corner here, another product from Novatech who've been very generous on this build. This is their Power Station version two, 1000 watt black edition power supply. This is gonna be powering all of these components. Please do stick around for the whole build series. Thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget, if you're watching this on a laptop or desktop, you can click on the individual components as they're uploaded to YouTube to watch those individual videos or indeed there's a link to the complete playlist in the video description. I'll see you all in the next video.
Thank you very much for watching. If you wanna see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.